Councils in New South Wales love to use the special rates variation as a way to massively increase your property taxes. In this seven minute video, I'll explain how a brave group of Bathurst citizens killed off a 70% special rates variation. Ratepayers, businesses and citizens of Bathurst united to send a powerful message to the elected councillors and the general manager that they are fed up with the poor leadership, the waste of taxpayers' money and the massive loss of opportunity. Hi, my name's Jeff Muir, and in three steps, I'll explain, number one, how we got there, number two, how councils increase your property taxes, and number three, how we stop them dead in their tracks. Step number one, how we got there. The council's traditional role was roads, cemeteries, water supply, sewerage and libraries. Nowadays, it's everything from climate change to the Australia Day debate and drag queen story time at the library. The council has a monopoly control over services and regulatory rules. They acquire their incomes through compulsory taxation and have zero incentive to reduce the tax burden on all of us. In fact, bureaucrats are incentivised to never get the job done. While council staff will say they're there to serve you, the public, there is little incentive for them to solve the problems they hide for. For executive managers, more staff equals higher salary, and so they're incentivised to increase the size of their department and do less with more people. In their defence, councils are also under pressure to offer more and more services with the same or less grant money from the state and federal governments. So that's the problem in a nutshell. Step number two. How to increase your property taxes and other charges by 70% or more with a special rates variation. Firstly, the general manager and the executive of the council cry poor to the councillors. Things are tough. Inflation, the war in Ukraine, staff costs, interest rates, COVID, drought and any and every excuse will do. Then the masterful stroke. The general manager of the council recommends hiring a consultant to tell us what's wrong and what we need to do to authorise the massive rates and tax increase. Consulting firms like Morris and Lowe specialise in how to get a 70% special rates variation across the line. Let's do that. It's only $120,000. Like any good consultant, they take a deep dive into the council's books and hey presto, they've analysed the problem. Inflation, the war in Ukraine, staff costs, interest rates, COVID, drought. And then they present three or four options. The first is do nothing and we're all doomed to bankruptcy. Option number one totals to be a 58.5% increase. Option number two, a 68.6% increase. And option three, a 73.6% increase. The consultant then directs the council to hold several public consultation meetings and tell everyone how bad things are. After the public is consulted, the elected councillors will vote on adopting one of the many options presented. Now the council can go to the New South Wales Independent Pricing Authority and get a tick of approval for the special rates variation. Summary of step number two. The underhand strategy and deception the local government uses to increase your taxes goes like this. Hire a consultant for $120,000 to tell us what we already know and distance the elected councillors and the general manager from the 70% special rates variation increase and their recommendation. Hold public consultation meetings and present all the options leading to the same outcome. Include one option that's so ridiculous that it's a joke. Publicly elected councillors will then claim it's not their fault the council is in trouble because this is highly complex stuff. And besides, most of us are new here and it didn't happen on my watch. Approval for the special rates variation comes from the New South Wales Independent Pricing Authority and the consultants nicely package it all up to make sure all the conditions are met. Step number three, how we stop the insane 70% special rates variation dead in its tracks. A small team of concerned ratepayers led by Sophie Wright. Sophie had recently bought her first home and is struggling to make mortgage payments, let alone a massive 70% rates increase. For her, that would have increased her property tax from $1,176 to $2,041. Sophie gathered a small team and decided to hold a protest rally outside the council chambers. Over 800 people turned up to protest and say no to the special rates variation. The protest rally highlighted the community's anger 
over the council's incompetence, mismanagement and bureaucratic red tape. Stopping the special rates variation campaign was helped along by the councillors approving a pay rise for the general manager at the same meeting as the special rates variation proposal. He gets a massive $423,000 per annum. Consultants Morrison Lowe presented their report in several poorly conducted community consultations. The council held the next meeting in an auditorium where hundreds of people turned up and expressed their anger and upset at being treated so poorly. A motion to drop the special rates variation was put by a brave councillor, Warren Auburn, and it was carried. At the same meeting, councillor Jess Jennings was elected mayor. He proposed an amendment to the motion to drop the special rates variation. It failed miserably with no one to second it. Someone in the audience called out, bad luck, Judas. In summary, behind the scenes, there is tremendous resentment and anger about the Bathurst Regional Council's poor performance over many years. Sophie and her group worked hard to unite the community against what seemed like a foregone conclusion and won the battle with the special rates variation being abandoned. But be well aware that the Mayor and the General Manager have not given up on the idea of the special rates variation and you and I will have to stay in touch to make sure the councillors and the executive pull their collective fingers out. They must find ways to reduce costs, promote the Bathurst region and stop the never-ending tax increases that do not produce any measurable benefits to taxpayers. Elected councillors and the council staff are all there to serve us, the public, and you can help by joining Sophie Wright's group Fix Bathurst at fixbathurst.com. This video was written and produced by Jeff Muir, committed to fixing the Bathurst Regional Council and holding them accountable.